Hello friends today we are going to see how to draw a pentagon with the help of a rounder make sure you take a pointed pencil so that we get perfect geometry and i prefer to keep the height of my pencil uh, smaller than the rounder because it is it is flexible to draw and uh, it is convenient for me because a longer pencil uh, uh, is not very much convenient for me so take uh, appropriate distance between your rounder and uh, draw a circle i've taken 3 cm as radius and i'm drawing a circle don't lift the point of the rounder while drawing the circle let us mark the center as o let me just quickly mark the center as o this is the center of the circle now we have to draw a diameter a diameter is a line that passes through the center of the circle you can just take your scale and draw a line that passes through the center of your circle now this diameter intersects the circle in two points and it also divides the circle into two equal parts now we have to divide the circle into four equal parts so to this horizontal line we have to draw a vertical line for that i'm taking distance in my rounder slight more than the radius and i'm drawing two arcs from one end of my diameter similarly from the opposite end of the diameter intersect those two arcs which we draw now we get two points two intersected arcs we have to join these two arcs the line must pass through the center of the circle to ensure perfect geometry the, this line must pass through the center of the circle just draw a line so now we get four parts of the circle four equal parts the circle is divided into four equal parts now to draw a pentagon take okay let me first mark these as a and b the diameter ab now to draw a pentagon take OB is the radius. Take distance slight lesser than the radius. We will take OB is the radius. We will just take the distance slight lesser than the radius. Do not take it uh, more smaller. Just just minimize it a little bit and draw two arcs now up and down from point O. That is the center. now similarly from point b we will intersect those two arcs with the same distance now we get two more arcs we have to draw a parallel line to the vertical line we'll just quickly join the two arcs which we drew now this line intersects the diameter ab now this line also divides the radius ob into two equal parts This point is the center of radius OB. Let us name it M. Now, okay. Let me name this point C and CD is also a diameter of the circle. Now we have to take the distance of C to M in our rounder. take place the pointer on m and take the distance till c measure the distance till c and from c draw an arc that intersects the diameter ab intersect the diameter ab with the distance of cm now we get a point on the diameter ab now we have to join that point and c remember this will be the this will be the length of one side of our pentagon this di- this line which we draw just now this will be the length of one side of our pentagon so ce will be the length of a side of our pentagon now we'll place the pointer on c 
with the distance C E in our rounder, we will place the pointer on C, we will measure the distance till E and we will draw an arc on the circle near the point A. Just draw an arc that intersects the circle. Yes. Now we have to join this intersection point of this arc and point C. Okay. So th as it was the first side, we will continue to draw four more arcs from that point. So now we get five intersection points on the circle. These are the five vertices of our pentagon. So we will just quickly join these vertices now. This is the third side, this is the fourth side, and this is the final fifth side. So C2, C3, C4 and C5. We get five vertices. We get a perfect pentagon with our easy geometry. You can erase the geometry if you want just the pentagon. Just be sure about the vertices. Uh, you take a pointed eraser and you can erase the geometry if you want. So I hope you understood it. If you like the video, Please subscribe to my channel so I keep creating interesting content for you and see you later then. Bye bye.